It's been a long journey, fam, but we're finally here. The end, end game, the epilogue, roll it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Ernest Adiano. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. Y'all guys are the third family. If you're not a member of the family just yet and you like what you see at the end of this video, click the little subscribe button and become part of the fam. We're doing big things over here. Channel is growing slowly but surely. But today, we at the end of our Lupe Fiasco Michael Young History Saga journey. If this is your first video in the journey, I implore you to go and start from the beginning if it's something that you're interested in. We started with Michael Young History going in a downward spiral coming from a fatherless home in the ghetto, school grades decline and all of that. That was he say, she say. Then we saw the cool rise from the dead in the song, The Cool. Then we saw Michael Young history come back and be tempted by the streets in the song, The Coolest. Then we saw him rise to the top of the game and feeding these fiends and having everything that he ever wanted and got to eat. Him in the streets had a nice little lovely bond going on. But as we know, good things always come to an end really quickly in the streets, no matter how bad you don't want it. And we saw the demise of Michael Young history in the die. And here we are finally in the epilogue, meeting the one who runs everything meeting the game. The song title in itself is dope ass wordplay saying, let me put you on game. For those of you that don't know the slang terminology and being put onto the game or being put on game is basically someone educating you in something that you don't know and you don't know the way something works. So hey, let me put you on game. So the title of the track is basically Lupe saying, let me put you onto the game and who he is. But let's go ahead and jump on into this fam and see what we got. Let's go ahead and wrap up this Lupe Fiasco Michael Young history train together. I appreciate everybody that's here watching these Lupe Fiasco videos and I hope you've grown to understand why I think this dude is top five lyricist, top five rappers of all time potentially. But let's get it. That dark demonic voice with this dark ass beat in the background. Pfft. Setting up the whole stage perfectly. Let me put you on game. Don't you know that I run this place and I've begun this race? Must I rerun this pace? I'm the reason it's become this way. And their love for it is the reason I have become this praise. They love my darkness. I've made them heartless. And in return, they have become my martyrs. I've been in the poem of many a poet and I reside in the art of many a artist. So Ugh. So as you can tell, Lupe Fiasco wrote this song in the point of the view of the game speaking about himself. Don't you know that I run this place and not begun this race, must I rerun this pace? You might think all these politicians, you might think all these good people have saying in what really happens in this world, but really is me, the game. It's really the lies and the corruption and the greed and the envy. I'm the reason it's become this way. The world functions in the way that it does because of me. And their love for it is the reason I have become this praise. They might say that they hate it. They might say that they don't like the negativities, but everybody else's love for it is the reason I am the man, the reason why I have risen to the top in the way that I have. They love my darkness, I make them heartless. Literally talking about selling their soul to the game, they have no heart. And in return, they become my martyrs. They'll do whatever I ask of them, even if it means dying. And in the story that we have here that we've gone on, it's literally dying in the streets. But the game is much bigger than the streets. The game is worldwide. The game is politicians who forget about their morals and forget about the good things that they once wanted to do because they're blinded and corrupted by the power. I've been in the poem, many a poet, and I reside in the art of many a artist. That's people talking about and writing about the effects that the game has on the world, even if it's not in the street life. Art is just a reflection of the lives that we live in this world, and the lives that we live in this world are unknowingly controlled by the game. So of course the game is gonna make it into the art of many artists, because they're normally the ones that can see through and see that the game is causing all of these things. I've been in the poem of many a poet and I reside in the art of many a artist. Some of your smartest have tried to articulate my whole poppiness, but they're fruitless in their harvest. The troll grows from my footsteps. I'm the one that they follow. I am the one that they march with. Through the 
Lupe Fiasco has such a talent for saying something in such a poetic way. He said some of your smartest have tried to articulate, some of your smartest have tried to put pen to pad and understand exactly how I run this world. They try to articulate my whole part in this, but they're fruitless in their harvest. They're fruitless in their harvest is such a dope ass way of saying that they're coming up with nothing. They don't understand who I am after all this time. Because normally whenever you go to harvest fruit, you're harvesting your hard work and your labor. But if they're fruitless in their harvest and all that hard work, all that research and all that labor has just gone to waste because they're ended up back at square one. The drove grows from my footsteps. I'm the one that they follow. I'm the one that they march with. Just that visual of every time the game takes a step as he's walking, there's marijuana plants growing right behind him because he's the one that's controlling the drug game. I am the one that they march with. Through the back galleys and the black markets, the oval offices, the crack houses and apartments. Through the mazes of the queens, the pages of the sages and the chambers of the kings. Through the veins of the fiends, a paper chases pages, yo, I'm famous on the scene. One of the oldest, most ancientest things, speak every single language on the planet, you know I mean? Speak every single language on the planet. Don't matter where you from. The game runs everything. One of the oldest, most ancient of things. That's a bar because the game has been around since the dawn of man. Someone has tried to hustle somebody else out of something. But now as we've grown up and technology has progressed and we as a species have advanced, the game has just gotten more complex. It, we haven't gotten the game out. If anything, it's more embedded now. Through the back alleys and the black markets, all the way to the Oval Offices, the crack houses and apartments, from the shadows to the top, to the leader of the free world, to the crack houses and apartments. It doesn't matter, game is everywhere in different forms. Through the mazes of the queens, the pages and the sages and the chambers of the kings, from the highest of most high, the royalty of all life in Egypt, all the way down to the veins of the fiends. It doesn't matter who you are, the game is there. Speak every single language on the planet, y'all. I am the American dream, the rape of Africa, the undying machine, the overpriced medicine, the murderous regime, the tough guy's front, and the one behind the scene. Bro, that line, the game is the American dream. Like anybody will do anything to get that American dream. And the American dream is put out there for the world to see as a good thing, which it can be, but it came at the cost of slavery, the rape of Africa, the rape of Africa, the undying machine, the undying machine that's taken all these jobs and taking all this labor from hardworking American and hardworking individuals across the world, all for the purpose of more profit. If you can have a machine that works 24 hours a day for free compared to the human being that you actually need to pay to work eight hours a day and end up costing more, of course the corporation is gonna go with the other one because they want more profit. And that profit and that greed is the game. Bloodbath, the murderous regime, overpriced medicine, overreaching for profits, because overpricing medicine is basically somebody saying that they're putting money ahead of somebody else's human life. That's the game. And the one behind the scene. I am the blood of this city, it's gas, water, and electricity. I'm its gym and its math and its history, the gunshots in the class. And you can't pass if you miss G. I'm the blood of this city. It's gas, water, and electricity. You think those things run the city? They don't. There's some type of game behind all that shit. I'm its gym and its math and its history. I'm the one giving the education. Even if the education is out here in these streets. I'm the gunshots in the class. And that line has double meaning because if we're talking about class, if we're talking about street life education, then literally gunshots in the class is gunshots in the streets. But gunshots in the class is going to also be literally gunshots in classrooms of elementary schools, of high schools. And you can't pass if you miss in G. Like you have to be there. You have to be there in order to pass in class. You have to be in the streets in order to pass and make money. So there's a chance you're going to lose your life either way. That's the game. You can't pass if you miss G. I taught them better than that. I taught them aim for the head and hope they never come back. I'm glad your daddy's gone, baby. Hope he never comes back. I hope he's with your mother with my hustlers high in my trash. I hope you die in this trash. I can't help it. All I hear when you cry in his laugh. He said, I taught them aim for the head and hope he never comes back, which is a bar because as we know, Michael Young history comes back to life as the cool. I'm glad your daddy's gone, baby. Hope he never comes back. Talking about literally how we lost her dad to the streets. Now she's fatherless in the continuous downward spiral of the street life. I hope he's with your mother and my hustlers high in my traps. And they call it a trap because it is literally a trap. The street life is a trap. And he says, I can't help it. All I hear when you crying is laughs. 
Like your sadness is my joy because that's the way the game operates. I'm sure somebody find you tied in this bag behind the hospital, little baby crack addict's head. Then maybe you can grow up and be a stripper, a welfare receiving prostitute and gold digger. You can watch on TV how they should properly depict you. The river should flow with liquors, pinch your thirst on my elixirs. I am the safe haven for the rebel runaway and the resistor, the trusted misleader, the number one defender. Now that you no longer have a father and the chances of you growing up and falling victim to the game that I run is much greater, that brings me joy. Who knows, maybe one day you'll grow up and be a stripper, a welfare receiving prostitute, maybe a gold digger. All these bottom of the barrel things because the potential that you had was now killed when your father was killed. And that's the way that I like it. You can watch on TV how they should properly depict you, how they depict the black life in America. They always depict it as street and drugs and gang related. We don't want you to see that good shit. We don't want you to see people getting out of the hood and getting an education and making it out of the game. We want you to see people falling victim so that way you think that that's all that you have left in your life and that's your one course of action. When really the potential to have a future outside of that is still there, but we don't want you to see that. Watch on TV how they should properly depict you because that's really the real life that you have in your future coming up. The river should flow with liquors. Quench your thirst on my elixir. <sighs> Quench your thirst on these vices of alcohol and drugs and everything that the game has. Come seek solace in all the wrong things because that's what me as the game wants you to do. The more comfort you seek in the game, the more the game wins. That's why he says, I am the safe haven for the rebel, the runaway, and the resistor, the trusted misleader, the number one defender. The rebel, the one that goes against the cause so they fall victim to the game. The runaway, the runaway from their household, their fatherless household, the ones that finds family in gang life. The trusted misleader, the one who has greed and power and corruption all on his mind as opposed to doing what's right for the people. He finds solace and finds comfort in the game. The trusted misleader, the number one defender. And from a throne of their bones I rule. These fools are my fuel, so I make them cool. Baptize them in the water out of Scarface pool. And feed them from the table that held the Corleone's food. If you die, tell them that you play my game. I hope your bullet holes become mouths that say my name. Cause I'm the... Ooh. Bruh. He says, and from a throne of their bones I rule. From a throne of the bones of the fallen ones who have fell victim to my lifestyle and fell victim to the game because nobody wins, I rule from on top of their bones. These fools are my fuel so I make them cool. That goes straight back into the last verse on the song The Coolest that we did on this saga where he says, come these are the tales of the cool. Guaranteed to go and make you fail from your school and seek unholy grails like a fool. That's Lupe Fiasco warning of the tales of trying to become the coolest and you still don't listen and here's the game saying that this dude is a fool for falling even after someone has warned him. They're the only reason why I stay alive and I promise this coolness and they fall for it every time like a fool. I baptize him in the water out of Scarface pool. The movie Scarface, that pool that he had in the middle of the mansion where it said the world is yours and it turns on that globe. And Scarface is literally the epitome of someone who rose quickly and fell quickly from the drug game. And feed him from the table that held the Coleone's food. For those of you that have never seen The Godfather, an iconic American crime trilogy, the Corleones are the Sicilian mob family that that movie is based around. The family made its money on illegal gambling, which is a huge concept within the game, because the actual picture of the game, his eyes glow with red dice. And then the line to end the entire song, if you die, tell them that you played my game. You played my game and you lost. I hope your bullet holes become mouths that say my name because I'm the game. The whole bringing the game character to life and saving his character for the very last song in the saga, that's dope because the entire time that you listen to the storyline in order and you feel all the things that are going wrong slowly, you don't really know, we don't really talk about the game that much, but you know that his presence is there and that's basically what the game is. You never actually see it, but you know that it's there. And then Lupe waits to the very end to wrap it all up and put it all in together in one nice personified package. So fire. This is probably my favorite song in the whole series just because of the way it wraps up the series all together. And everything that you heard throughout is basically the game running it in the background and you didn't even realize until the last song. But yo, that brings us to the end of our Michael Young history saga. Technically speaking, there are many other tracks that go along with the storyline of Michael Young history. You got Real, you got Gold Watch, you got Hurt Me Soul, which was the first Lupe Fiasco song that I did. 
all of these songs pertain to Michael Young history in one way or another, but I was not about to go through like 15 Lupe tracks in a row, but I was not about to go through 15 Lupe tracks in a row. I just wanted to give y'all like a bass line, a bass structure that y'all could find. And if y'all guys wanna go in and see how other songs off of these two albums play into the storyline, by all means, feel free to do so because it's dope the entire storyline. But I hope y'all guys enjoyed the journey just as much as I did. But back to our regular scheduled program next week, we start the next Patreon round of requests to get to. If y'all guys wanna potentially become a Patreon and see what those exclusive perks and see what Patreon has to offer, click the first link in the description below. Check out the merch below as well. And like I always say at the end of my videos, love and care for one another, love and care for each other out there. And I'll see y'all guys in the next video. Peace.